All right, guys, welcome. Good evening. Hope everyone can hear me now on YouTube. Okay, extremely sorry for the tech issues, guys. Um, but, you know, nothing is going to stop us from making this happen. So we'll find whatever means we need to uh, to get you guys this presentation today. So is the sound coming across okay now? Can you guys hear me all right? Just want to get some thumbs up. Excellent. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to get started in about uh, two minutes. Just going to give people a chance to come on over from where they are are at now. And we will get uh, started. All right, guys, so let's begin. Welcome uh, into this live BBT workshop. Um, we want to get into some topics here this uh, this evening to kind of give you an insight of our community and what we really focus on here at Bearable Traders. Let's start over with a little bit of disclaimer, guys. We are not an investment advisory services. We will not tell you what to buy or what to sell. Uh, it is very important that you get with a professional financial advisor, someone that can tell you if day trading is for you. As you know, day trading, you can lose your money. So it's very important you get with a professional to discuss that important matter when it comes to your personal finances. Um, with that said, guys, let's, let's go over some of the topics we're going to be discussing today. Uh, we want to talk about what is Bearable Traders? What do we focus on? What to expect from trading? Uh, we're going to talk about our, our educational approach as well as and give you an insight, go behind the scenes of our chat room, of our our community and what you will get access as a member and then we'll get into memberships and what they actually mean on each individual one so uh, with that said guys uh, our community is a very tight niche group uh, we love to have these meetups kind of get together with members our environment overall you're going to notice is a place where uh, members connect with each other you know we're not this is not an isolated uh, kind of trading community where you cannot interact with other members we encourage that we believe that in, in a day trading community you, community you need to have this networking uh, where a couple of like-minded people can communicate with each other and be able to come up with ideas and become better traders uh, together in their trading journey. So that's very important to us. And you're going to see that carry out through our entire uh, 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 place here at Bearable Traders, whether it's in our chat room, in our forums, in our in our websites, in our webinars. Anything we do is always towards that goal of, hey, we're a, a trading community of traders that, wanna, uh, that are reaching for that same goal of like-minded traders. With that said, we're a very worldwide and diverse community as well. As you can see here, we have traders from all over the world. And the neat thing about this is that having traders all over the world, what it helps you do is it allows you to see different perspective of different people and different ideas. So that's important because we might not be thinking of something and someone else with a different background, whether in operations, whether engineering or whatever their background is, might have a different view on things related to trading. And that can open our eyes to some ideas that we personally might not have thought about. So again, going back to that, being able to network and learn from each other is very important uh, in our community. Um, just one second here. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, here's a team, guys, that we have put together at Bearable Traders. So we first started off with Brian and Andrew, started this community some time back. After that, we had several uh, students that came through and be eventually became moderators. We have Abio, we have Peter, we have Norm, we have Eamon, Thor, uh, Ryan, and myself. And most recently just joined us Mike, a 23-year-old veteran that has uh, uh, finished his term, retired from uh, uh, from the Marines, and now is joining us uh, as well in the community. So again, we have a great group of guys here. Uh, all from different backgrounds as well, very diverse as you can see, bringing up several ideas to be able to make our community as well as uh, improve improve what we have here for, for Bear Boot Traders. Again, everyone has a different background, but we all all started with Bear Boot Traders as students of Andrew, learning from his book, learning from his trading, and eventually uh, becoming moderators and kind of tweaking our trading ourselves to match our personality, which is something very important we're going to talk about uh, in this community when it comes to our educational uh, approach. There are two styles that we really focus on in this community. Our number one style is going to be uh, day trading. Uh, we really focus on on uh, uh, int in intraday trading. You know, not holding positions overnight. That's our number one thing that we do here. And these type of styles will involve scalping seconds to minutes, depending on what what strategy you're trading. And some could be trend trades, could be minutes to hours if the trade's still going in your position and you're able to catch a great uh, trend trend trade opportunity. At no point are we holding anything overnight, guys. Uh, it's very important, so we're not holding any position overnight. The minute you do that, you're no longer in a day trade. You are now in, uh, on, a, on, a, on a swing trade, so that's important. We don't really focus too heavily on fundamentals, and I want to explain a little bit what that means. That means we're not heavily looking for the news and then looking for a trade. Uh, we're technical indicators. We're technical traders, so our main focus is first uh, the patterns on the chart. That's what tells us uh, if this stock is going to be in play. What strategy are we looking for? So our number one job as traders is to identify these patterns and then have great execution on them, right? That's our number one thing. Of course, if something's gapping up, you know, 15, 20%, we want to know the reason behind it and the news behind it, but we're not biasedly just trading on that news. We're not looking for news to trade the news. We're not looking at the company's, uh, you know, uh, quarter earnings or what their forecast is going to be to uh, find whether we're going to go long and short. It's all based on technical technical uh, uh, patterns and technical indicators. Uh, there is a, a bit of a high cost of operation for that, and we'll get into that in part two of this class. We're going to talk about Dash Trader Pro and how uh, how amazing that software is and why you need to uh, you know, have a good broker, guys. You pay for what you get. You've seen the horror stories with, you know, some of these other brokers that, you know, don't have the right setup or that they, they go out of commission for one day. Stuff like that happens uh, with any broker, but you see it more often happen with people with brokers that are free commissions, right? So you pay for what you get. It's very important. So in this type of business where you have your money, it's important to be able to have a good broker, a, a solid platform that can execute your trades. This is very important when it comes to, uh, to day trading. Um, Typical account size, guys, between five thousand to fifty thousand. Uh, we do have options where you can trade uh, offshore and be able to trade under the PTD rule, so that's a possibility as well. Our number two style of trading is swing trading, uh, and then this could be a potential profit between twenty-five to twenty twenty-five on your account annually. And the duration of these trades could be days to a couple of weeks, right, depending on the move. So uh, there is some fundamental analysis. You do not want to be trading, uh, swing trading a stock that's going or a company that's going to be doing earnings in, in a day or two, right? That could change the way things uh, things uh, react. And you don't want to trade a company that has terrible news like we've seen with PCG over the last couple of uh, of uh, a month ago, right, or two, where they had this huge fire, just constantly negative news behind it, things like that we want to avoid. But overall, mainly focus on the technical and chart patterns, right? So Brian does an amazing job. If you have not signed on to his swing trading alerts that are completely free, go to our website, uh, go over to the swing trading tab and sign on to his uh, swing trading alerts. There's a very low cost operation, guys. For something like this, you can use a separate broker that has zero commissions because your entries are not going to be as critical as it is for day trading, right? So you can have uh, you know, so you don't need the real time. You don't need direct access software to do that. A couple of cents off here and there on your entry is not going to completely blow the strategy uh, out of the water. So you're able to do that. A little bit on a higher account size. You can have a smaller account size, but what, what happens is usually when you have several positions being held over a week or two, you know, you really start uh, eating into your buying power. Then the next opportunity might be, might come available, and you might not be able to take that trade. Uh, so we recommend about 50k, but you can do this with less. You can do it with 30. You can do it with 25. But we recommend, you know, to be really successful at it. You know, 50k can really give you a really nice balance between a, being, being able to take these trades. Now let's talk a little bit about the benefits of a community. 
you know, and why you why no matter what what career you're in, you need to be part of a community. If you're if you're a baseball player, you need to be part of an association of people that play baseball. If you're a chemical engineer, you need to be part of an association or a network group of people that are in that same field, a doctor, whatever it is, you need to have a community that you can bounce ideas off and grow personally. That's very important. Same thing with day trading. There's no difference uh, between other careers and day trading, right? You got to treat it in the same aspect. Learning from uh, the experience of others, guys, is one of the number one thing you're going to find in day trading communities. There's a lot of people in this community that have been here for two, three plus years that are that have gone through some of the stuff that you're going to go through, go through when you start in your trading journey, right? That's that's going to happen. So it's important to be able to be around these people that have the experience that can give you tips and tricks on how to make the learning curve as short as possible as you're going through some of the obstacles you're going to face when it comes to day trading. Powerful resource, I, and I just added this one on here too. Um, you know, being able to uh, be in a community where we can gather together, bring guest speakers that have experience in the industry has become something that we're really focused on. So you're starting to see these uh, workshop, uh, uh, these uh, success webinars every Wednesday. We're bringing these uh, uh, special speakers. Like we have a dedicated psychologist on site now, Dr. Kat, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in a couple of slides. These are things that without a community, it's very difficult to do as an independent trader. So it's important to be part of a community where you can, you know, leverage the resources and be and be able to uh, take advantage of some of these things that a community can bring to you. Uh, Another thing is support during challenging times. You know, day trading is difficult. I, I, don't be fooled by, by uh, other stuff you see uh, on ads or on YouTube or everywhere else. Day trading is very challenging. So being able to find that support during these challenging times is going to be the, it could be the difference between you continuing this career or not. Right. So that's very, very important. Share ideas. You know, uh, you, you're together with a group of people that are trying to do the same goal in a slightly different in their own unique way. But there will be ideas that you can share between each other, especially from the more experienced people that are going to make your life a lot easier. Maybe you have a platform solution instead of going to Google and searching, you know, 10,000 answers you're going to get. You can fine tune them by going to our forum, by going to our chat room and getting the solution that is that meets what you're looking to do here when it comes to your specific trading that matches more more to what uh, everybody else is doing in line of, of your style of trading, right? Accountability. We've seen many members get together, do small groups of two or three, and hold each other accountable, especially when they're about to go live. That's very important because that allows them to uh, hold each other accountable. If you're sitting alone trading on, by your, on your desk uh, by yourself, that could be very painful, and there's nobody that, there to help you out and say, hey, listen, man, you shouldn't be trading anymore. Maybe you should call it a day. So that kind of ability is very important, especially when you go live those first uh, a, a few months. And you got to have a little fun as well. If, you, if you've been in our chat room, um, you know, you can see we have a very uh, laid back environment. Yes, we put the work in. Yes, a lot of serious trading going on as well. But you have to have a little fun, a little laid back because day trading is stressful, guys. It's not it's not easy. It does. It does create a lot of tension. So to be able to lay back a little bit and kind of relax, this is what we do in these meetups as well. We love having these meetups and meeting with members to kind of talk shop a little bit and kind of uh, loosen up a, a little bit as well. All right, guys, so what to expect from day trading, right? You heard all kinds of information out there. So we want to talk just a little bit about what to expect from day trading and what is uh, some of the things that you're going to be facing and some of the uh, expectations that some people might have that might not be all in the right area. So you heard it many times, the high number of day traders that fail. Um, and again, I think I believe is the expectation is people think day trading is easy, but we expect from lawyers, doctors, engineers that, you know, we expect this. We expect years of schooling, years of training and experience building. Right. This is very, very important here. Right. You could become a doctor. You can have the degree, but nothing speaks as to the experience you need to build. Right. This is key here. Um, expensive tuition is not cheap to become to get a degree in these areas. Right. Um, and you, after that, you left with some high student loan debt as well. But many people as day traders expect expect day traders to have a very short learning curve, right? It looks easy. Everybody's doing it online and a small investment with a big payout. And this is, again, far from reality and it's completely incorrect. This is the wrong expectation. But you will not be surprised how many people have this type of expectation. And a day trading is no different than any other profession. You have to put in the time. You have to be dedicated and you have to be able to commit to learn the process, go through the learning curve to be able to become a successful trader. Um, one of the things that uh, we tell people is that, again, day trading is a serious business. You need to either do it right or don't even bother because you will lose your money. Uh, again, the market can reward bad behavior, and it will. We had a situation of one gentleman where he uh, he was trading you know, from a hotspot uh, during his deliveries in New York City, pulling up his laptop and taking trades. And 
He got his account from a nice chunk from, you know, he started with a small account, 2000 to 5000 made $3,000. That is a very nice number when you start out. That is huge. You know, you do that type of numbers uh, when you first start out trading, you're going to feel on top of the world. What happens eventually the market gave it back because it, it was not doing it right. He was doing it from a laptop with a hotspot connection. You are not taking it serious. The, mar the market did reward his bad behavior, but eventually he started giving it back. Right. So, again, it goes back to this is a serious business, guys. So you either got to take it. Uh, serious or don't uh, don't even bother. Uh, let's head down over to uh, some of the things you need to do to be able uh, to tra treat this as a serious business. The number one thing, guys, is uh, like any new business, you need to invest in it and be patient, right? So you need to have the proper education, the proper tools and platforms, computer screens, a broker. Uh, you need to be able to uh, have the time to practice between 9 to 11 a.m. That's also very important. And you need to constantly keep learning. Right, a lot of traders they go they go through all this process here, but they forget that they gotta constantly keep learning. If you don't const if you're not constantly learning and staying ahead of the game, the market will move and leave you behind. And if you're not moving with the market, you're basically moving backwards. So that's very important that you keep uh, that aspect of being able to uh, stay on top uh, of the of your learning uh, when it comes to trading. And it comes down to do you have the time and motivation and can you afford the startup cost of this business? And when we talk about afford, we're not talking about dollars. We've seen people with plenty of capital, day trading capital that can do this very well, that have started with no problem, not affecting their 401ks. They have the money for savings to do this full time. We've seen that. But do they have the time? Do they have the patience to wait to become a, a day trader, right? People think that just because they have the money or they have the capital that the, the learning curve is going to be shorter. And it's not. The learning curve is going to be the same uh, of, of any trade that's starting to start. You're going to have some obstacles you have to get through, and having more money is not going to help you get through this sooner, right? You need to put in the time and the motivation to be able to day trade. Let's quickly look over a day trading journey of what to expect and some of the things that uh, we're going to do after this is kind of look at how our educational approach and how we can help you get through this day trading journey. The first thing is going to become the basics, right? Learning the system, learning Dash Trader Pro, uh, understanding your platform into now, the features of it. Uh, we have tons of videos in our website that will show you things that you can do on here. Um, our education approach also is that you want, want to attend our classes multiple times. So you want to reinforce the knowledge that you have here. Stay up to date with the material that we're providing. We're constantly releasing new material out there. As you can see, with some, if you're uh, signed up to any of our newsletters, you can see some of the material we're bringing in, the guest speakers. you got to stay on top of this stuff, right? Um, you're not only going to learn in front of the screens. You're going to learn behind the screens when you're putting in time you know, with these classes and everything else that we're putting out there for you in our education center. Journaling, guys, is a very big thing that we're going to continue to uh, push for you guys. It's, it's something you have to do over and over again. A lot of traders do not like to journal, and this is not, I know it might sound shocking, but if you read every book that you read in day trading, there's one thing they have in common. Regardless of the strategy, regardless of what they're they're providing, the one thing they have in common is journaling. Everyone tells you you have to journal, and this is why this is so important. right? Journaling is the only way that you can track uh, uh, your progress and be able to improve your progress, right? Tracking is one thing, but you'll be able to go back and improve on your progress. So we're going to focus on journaling. We got some material on how to do proper journaling, what to focus on, uh, on the journaling, not just the number, but the actual process itself. Then we go down to strategies. We have several strategies that we, we want you to try all of them during that first beginning stage of the three months of simulation, and then eventually find about two or three that you can really focus on and master over and over again. Continue to practice the process on it. You know, start using great uh, risk management principles, you know, setting daily ma uh, max loss, set setting uh, uh, risk per trade. So this is our important on every strategy that you have this set out, uh, uh, kind of a, of a playbook of every strategy that you're going to be trading, right? Then the psychology comes in. Now, before you go live, we want you to be aware of what the psychology aspect is going to be and some of the things that you're going to face when you go live. How you, are your emotions going to react? This is very important. Everybody reacts different. And this is why we always tell people you have to start small when it comes to trading. We'll talk about that in a bit. But again, the emotions really come in when you go live. But we want you to be aware of what those some of those emotions are going to be so you are pre as prepared as possible. We have some books we recommend in our book section that you should start reading. You know, Trading in the Zone is a good one, The Daily Trading Coach. But we also have a psychology module that we're going to talk about in a bit. Um, Mike was going to join me today, but since I, I am on YouTube, um, actually, Mike, if you're hearing me, if you can go in the chat room, maybe you could join me through there. But if not, that's okay. I'll go over his slides over there. Uh, actually, you should be able to go in the chat room and join me, Mike, if you get a chance. 
Um, and then here, guys, the broker, very information. This is very important. This is something that you really have to do your research on when it comes to joining a broker, right? We, we have recommendations on our website of which tool you should use, whether it's a whether you're under PTD here in the U.S. or whether you're above PTD. But you really should do your homework and pick Can you hear me, Carlos? Best for you. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. So that's good. Um, so again, pick the one that's best for you based on your account size and your in your location, right? And then going live, guys. This is where we're gonna focus in. There's a lot of material in regards to going live. First of all, starting small. Everybody's gonna give you that advice. Start small, 50 to 100 shares, risking $20 per share. Um, you know, increasing size only when you demonstrate consistent results, not just, oh, I've been trading for two, three months. It's time for me to increase size and start making more money. It's not the way it works. You look at your month before, you see, okay, how did I do? What's my progress? Okay, you know, I can increase size based on actual results. And then do it gradually, right? Doing the, doing the process gradually, not going from risking 20 bucks to risking 150. Uh, that's not something that's gonna help you out, so that's very important. And also we talk about, a lot about peer-to-peer -peer support. We have a, a entire network of uh, members that can uh, help you, that can mentor you, that have been around for a very long time. This is going to be important when it comes to uh, your day trading career because it can sh really shorten your uh, learning curve, right? Which is very important. So let's talk about our educational approach and some of the things that you're gonna be getting access to uh, when you join Bear Blue Traders. So starting off here, guys, there's three aspects of, of uh, th three stages of the day trading uh, education community. The first one is going to be the mechanical aspect. Uh, you know, learning your broker, learning your platform, the ins and outs, all the features that are listed here, your hotkeys, you know, more of the manual stuff that you need to learn to be able to uh, be successful in your craft. The second one is going to be the technical aspect. You know, what stocks am I going to trade? You know, uh, practices, strategies, finding the best ones that work for you. This is important uh, because a lot of people, they first come in, they want to, uh, they want to have a strategy that everybody else is doing. Well, this strategy works for Andrew. Let me do this one. This one works for Thor. Let me do this one. What we actually want you to do is try all of them, all the strategies that we have here. And you're going to find about two or three that you can really identify with and then really focus and hone in on those and practice them over and over again, right? We're going to help you to be able to do that, identify what works for you. Uh, practicing recognition of day trading patterns, you know, position sizing, you know, how to do good risk management. You'd be surprised how many people are great at everything, but then they really drop the ball in risk management because they're thinking about how much they they can make opposed to how much they should risk, right? And once you start thinking in this in this uh, idea of how much you can make, this really takes a hit. You start getting more emotional and you're going to start really making some bad, bad decisions. And this also goes down to n the number three stage, which is the psychology of trading. And this is where we're spending a lot of time Mike is going to talk in the next slide about some of the things that we're doing uh, in the community, some of the stuff that we're uh, that we have changed in the last uh, month or two to be able to bring in more material when it comes to psychology of trading. But this is important, guys. Emotional trading, the fear, the greed, the FOMO, fear of missing out, revenge trading, dealing with losses. These are things that really affect a trader. I, I have no doubt in my mind that all of you guys on here can really get the mechanical aspect, the technical aspect here is where you're going to spend most of the time when you go live, you know, dealing with the psychology, how to how to be able to, you know, deal with losses. This is something that many traders do not understand. Uh, you know, out of 10 trades, you can lose four. So that means you're going to be wrong 40% of the time and still be a profitable trader, right? And and as humans, 60% uh, accuracy, that's not great when it comes to a test or anything else in life. That's horrible. But in day trading, that's something you have to be okay with. And hopefully, you know, with time and some of the psychology models that we have here, we can get to the point that you realize, you know, if I get three trades in a row, in a row four in a row, is okay. I'm thinking long-term picture here, probabilities of, you know, of the long-term picture, not just every, not living and dying, but every single trade. And the combination of risk management and the psychology can help you prevent some of that, that huge pitfall that a lot of traders fall into. Uh, Mike, if you can come on and just kind of go over the next two slides. Just gonna give a second. Mike is gonna come on in a sec now. Yeah, I can. I can hear you, Carlos, as soon as. So, welcome. So uh, as Carlos mentioned, psychology is a part of a trading. So to become a complete trader, you need to develop not only those trading skills that he was talking about, those mechanical and technical skills, but you also need to work on your psychology.
So what we here at Bay Area Bull Traders have developed is a set of modules to assist you with understanding how your psychology factors into trading. It begins with kind of understanding yourself, how to, how to develop yourself as a trader and identify your personality traits that will benefit you while you're trading. And then you slowly build upon those as we go. These six modules are available in the Education Center, so you may view them as you need. In April, we're going to begin presenting these modules during the live sessions to our lifetime members. That way, as the modules being presented, if you have any uh, questions, you can ask during those live. If you can click over to the next slide, Carlos. And then... Like it was mentioned before, uh, we brought on a psychologist and performance coach, Dr. Katz. Um, he provides monthly psychology webinars. The first one's actually gonna be tomorrow on how to decrease over trading. And he's also gonna provide a kind of a how to improve exercise in this area that you can utilize over the next course of the uh, over the next couple of weeks and then continue on with it. But then he'll be presenting a live question and answer. So if you run into any questions or problems that you want to ask him, you post them in our forum. And then during that live question and answer, he'll answer those questions and you can interact uh, with them. This is a unique thing that's... Uh, specific to bearable traders as there's no other online trading community right now that has access to trading psychologists in this format. So I'll turn it back over to you, Carlos. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mike. So yeah, th th guys, this is very, very important. I mean, again, it goes back to having uh, that power of resources, right? Putting together and being able to bring these special guests and to have a, someone like this that's going to be focusing in our issues directly that some of the traders, most of the traders are having in our community and fine tune material to bring together uh, to you every month, that's going to be huge. So again, it goes back to taking advantage of some of the resources that a community can provide for you. So there are several things we wanna offer uh, for you guys today uh, before we go into our part two, which we're gonna get into our Dash Trader Pro, which is for some of the people that have already signed up. But anyone that's not a member, you're more than glad to stick around and watch uh, watch how that Dash Trader platform is. And we're gonna go over a few things in the power of that platform. Uh, we wanna first provide you a seven day free access uh, this is a, to our intro membership. This is completely free. You all guys should definitely do this. Um, there's no reason why you should not. I mean, there's basically gives you an insight to our chat room for seven days. So you can see what goes on throughout the entire day. Our chat room is uh, something that's very powerful. And I want to show you, I had uh, something set up to show you guys here, but with uh, some of the audio issues I wasn't able to, I want to show you some of the uh, stuff that we had on there, but I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have it up now. So again, on there, you're going to see guys us trading live every day. It goes from the pre-market show after we come off, Norm and I, you know, you're going to see the entire lineup of traders uh, starting from Andrew, then Brian goes live, Norm is there, and then you got Peter and you got the other moderator store and Eamon as well joining in every day. You got trade reviews that are happening also as well in our chat room. So there's tons of information that you're going to be able to be able to see first uh, hands on when it comes to, you know, live trading. So again, there are many different chat rooms out there, guys, and communities. You need to find the one that's best for you. So this is a great opportunity to be able to come in for seven days, try it out. In seven days, you should know if this is for you or not. You know, that's very clear. And if it's not, that's completely fine. You know, find another one, try a trial with them. Always join a community that has a free trial. I think that's very important, or at least a uh, a couple of days you can try for a very uh, cheap cheap uh, amount, cheap entry to be able to see if that's for you, right? Don't commit 100% to something without trying it out. So you must try it out. Now, a lot of you guys, I know you've seen some of our materials on YouTube, right? So you know what our community is about. Uh, you know, if you're ready to pull that trigger, the next thing we have is our discount membership on Lifetime Webinar. So I want to show you what our membership looks like. I'm going to bring over, this is our website, which by the way, we just uh, updated and it looks incredible. It's just going to scroll scroll down here and show you guys uh, kind of explain our membership so we do have a 40 percent running right now for st patrick's day but with th with this discount that we're giving you and abby is going to throw our mic throw the links over in our chat room uh we're giving you an extra five percent off so 45 percent of these memberships so let's go what are these memberships really giving you so the first one is if you're not sure want to try something out you can do the monthly membership right if you're not 100 percent sure you need more time this is what you're going to get you know the chat room access the basic all our lessons in our education center are going to be on here the live trading which is our 
uh, you know, the classes that we have on there. The trade idea scanners, if you have uh, your trade ideas, we provide you our settings. You can download those. Uh, all the hotkeys, layouts for DAS, and, and uh, instructional videos that we have on Dash Trader Pro, which is the platform that we use. Um, swing trading materials as well. So Brian is doing an amazing job of putting this swing trading course together for us and also this, uh, these free uh, alerts. Not only the free alerts, you also get the insight of how he's taking these trades, right? Because you can get alerts from anywhere, but we really want to push people to become independent traders. You can only follow someone for so long until it does not, it stops working, right? You want to build your own a trading style and be taking your own opportunities um, and then you're gonna get the three month simulation package as well when it comes to this one here you can select the three simulation package or without it right whichever you prefer right so you, you could do it with, with the simulation without the simulation or with the simulation and the simulation you don't have to start it the minute you join you can start it after when you're ready if you want to learn a few things first before you jump into uh, the Dash Trader platform which we're going to go over in a couple of minutes. Uh, the next uh, package we have is a lifetime installment which is 12 so let's say you, you're not ready to uh, sign up for the lifetime membership but you, uh, to pay the entire amount as a lump sum but you want to eventually do that because it just makes perfect sense if you're gonna be with a community this is a lifetime membership it's not going to be where you know uh, you don't get access to new materials that comes out or when a new course comes out you're not gonna get access to that no you have lifetime access to anything that we provide out there um, so that's important a lot of people they they get this membership they'll they'll try trading for a couple couple of a couple of months they get busy with life they have a baby they have you know they go uh, they got a new role in their in their position their the schedule might be a little bit tight and they'll come back whenever they're ready and that's perfectly fine you know we, we actually uh, recommend people that you know to start trading as a part-time job you know keep your other activities in life your 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 job and things like that and do this part-time so the best way to do this is with a lifetime membership because it allows you to not have that pressure of that monthly payment right uh, it never expires uh, and you're able to get this uh, with this uh, link that we're providing you at, at a 45 percent so two things you could do on here if you want just a lifetime membership this gives you access to everything that we have here plus any future courses that we that we release in our education center without the Dash Trader Pro. If you like the Dash Trader Pro, we also have a link for that as well. Uh, you can get the three months uh, Dash Trader Pro as well. And you can start any of these memberships with the Dash Trader Pro without starting the simulation right away. Okay, so that's uh, that's very important. So it kind of tells you what our to, uh, what our packages are for memberships. If there are any questions, put them on the on the chat, and uh, the guys and myself can definitely get you some answers to that. Okay, all right. The next thing I want to uh, get into, guys, is going to be Dash Trader Pro, our platform. But before we go into the Dash Trader Pro platform, I want to answer any questions anyone might have about the community, any concerns, uh, any questions that we can answer for you. This will be the perfect time to do so. One thing you're also going to get, which is, again, we have tons of recorded material already. So some of these webinars that you have seen that we have posted that have been scheduled, and by the way, talking about webinars, I want to show you guys our our lineup if you have not seen it already of what's coming up. And then I also want to show you of what has uh, taken place, right? So coming up, we do have Tom from Tasty Trades. He's going to be doing his uh, actually this week uh, on Wednesday. This is going to be an, a good one to watch, your probability, position sizing. And we're constantly bringing people that are experts in this industry. That's very important because we could learn so much from from uh, these other people that have been around for so long, that have seen so many things, different market conditions like we are in now, right? We can always learn from these guys. Thor, guys, Thor is an amazing level two trader. I mean, uh, this guy here, he started with bearable traders. You know, he he learned he learned the the basics, and then he found his own niche, and he's amazing at reading level two. You got to look at some of his recaps. So he's going to be sharing that with us in a week. Uh, you know, understanding level two and what he's looking for. And he has put a lot of work. He's still working on this presentation because this is not easy to do. And the reason is because level two, you have to have recordings, right? You can't just do it uh, off of presentation. It's very difficult to do that. Uh, so again, he's going to be putting that together. Uh, we had Ed do several webinars for us already. He's going to be doing trading after hours and earnings, right? Which is, we've seen a lot more people getting involved trading after hours when it comes to earning. This is something we can take advantage on. And we have Ed coming in and giving us a presentation there. We have Stephen Goldstein as well. Another professional has been out for uh, of years already in this field, in this industry, coming in to give us, you know, his golden rules and trading guidelines. So it comes back to having that powerful resource, guys. You need to be able to uh, come in uh, to a place that's gonna, you know, it's gonna bring stuff for uh, for me myself as well, not just for you guys. 
this is good for everybody because we can all learn from each other. It goes back to that constantly learning. If you're not constantly learning or, or you think you figured it out, the market is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to bring you back to life really quick, you know, bring it back down to earth really fast. So it's very, very, very important. So that's our success webinar. I also want to show you guys, I want to go into our chat room. Here's our dashboard. I want to go in a little bit while we wait for some questions to come in. I see some are happening over at YouTube. Let me show you our our our, our um, education center here. Some of the materials that we have already on here that you're going to be getting access to. So I'm just going to scroll down. We already have uh, the three that uh, three psychology uh, videos that Mike was talking about earlier. There's a few more that need to be released. But here's a success webinar that we have, and we just recently started this. So it's starting to pile up. It's starting to build. Uh, as you can see here, we have. Uh, some videos already that you ha will get access to when you become a Lifetime Webinar member, and you can catch up on some of the stuff that other members have already uh, looked at. This trading the first five minutes with Andrew and Eamon is a must-watch. It's a really good one. I learned a lot here. Uh, Peter has a, how to trade uh, with with the right number of share size. Again, there's a lot of materials on here that you're going to be able to uh, to uh, look through. Also, um, understanding your platform is very important. We're going to go through this in a second here in Dash Trader Pro. Uh, for those that are members already and want to understand the basics of the, of the platform. Here you have Dash Trader Pro introduction videos. This is going to uh, take you through everything you need to know about Dash Trader Pro. And there is a lot more on Dash Trader Pro because they're constantly releasing new updates. And it goes back to, again, the power of, of community. Because you, know, you don't know how many times we go to Dash Trader Pro and say, hey, this feature will be amazing for our traders. And they're able to do that because they see, okay, you know, this is a community of traders. There's a lot of people using Dash Trader Pro. We can combine our resources, and they are able to do some of the stuff that we have done. Just last week, we had uh, the hockey uh, by um, uh, what was it? Uh, by Kyle, right? This is, and I'm glad this is recorded because again, this is a, a class you really have to watch over and over again. But this is very powerful stuff, guys. So you have access to that as well. So. Again, it's a lot going on here. I know that uh, we can't go through all of it, but you'd want to try the seven-day trial. It costs you nothing to do that and be able to uh, go under the hood here and see what we have going on. One last thing. I'm, just, I'm getting too excited here. One last thing is the forum. This is going to be, guys, an amazing place for you to come and ask your questions. My favorite feature is this one here. The search bar, I always tell people, you put whatever you want in here, Das Hockey, you know, uh, whatever you're looking for, and anything with that hockey that you're looking for, it's going to show up here and you'll be able to kind of see what everybody else is doing. So here, Dash Trader Pro on Mac. we got a topic going on there on how to use your Dash Trader Pro on a Mac. So again, this is going to be huge because when you search on Google, you get so many random stuff. You know, we all done it. Before I was part of this community, you search on Google, you get something that has nothing to do with what you're doing, but you had those hotkeys that came up. Here is more is more fine-tuned to our style of trading and what we're doing. So this is going to be something that's going to help you a lot and be very powerful. Also, this year, guys, this is completely free. So if you're not a member already, um, you can go to the forum and sign up if you're not a member already. And you're going to get access to a lot of the stuff on here. There's some stuff that's just for members, but for the most part on here, you can get access to this uh, already. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to switch screens. If there are not any more questions, I'm going to go over to our... Dash Trader Pro program. So I'm going to just close this down and we're going to open our demo. But first, before I do that, I want to um, run a video that kind of explains what the screens are. And this video is available in our education center, but it's important to watch this first uh, before we answer any any questions. And since the video is very fine tuned, I think it, it was about six minutes. Let's go through it really quick. And then uh, in the meantime, I can answer questions in the chat as well as we're playing this video. And then we'll go into the actual software, and I want to show you some other things that has been added since this video was released uh, on the Dash Trader Pro platform. So just going to bring this up. All right, here we go. Dash Trader Pro. Uh, let's just hope you guys can hear that. All right. Introduction. Part 1. Main Screen Layout. Brought to you by Bearable Traders, learning community of serious traders. Once you launch Dash Trader Pro, you will be at the login screen. Enter your username and password provided by your broker or Bearable Traders for simulation packages. Check Remember ID and Password if you would like this information saved every time you start up the application. When logging in, Dash Trader Pro will load the default layout. For this exercise, we're going to start with a clean desktop and load the windows manually to build our layout. To clear desktop, go to File and click Clear Desktop. Now let's add the first window by clicking Trade and then Accounts. 
Note that all windows can be resized and moved to any position of your liking. The account windows will show you information such as equity, buying power, realized and unrealized PL. Next, click on trade and then positions. The positions window will give you visibility to any open positions you have in the market. It will show the ticker, number of shares, average cost, realized and unrealized PL for each position. The following window is the orders window. Click on trade and then orders. The orders window will show you any orders waiting to be filled by the market or pending to be executed if your triggers are met. The following window is trades. Add by clicking trade and then trades. Here you will find all the trades that have been filled. It will include exact time and price you were filled at. For the next window, click on trade and then closed positions PL. This window reflects the profit and loss for all your closed positions. It will list every ticker traded with the PL for long and short positions for each ticker separately. Now let's add our first chart window by clicking quotes and then charts. For this layout, we will have two charts linked to view different time frames for the same ticker. Repeat the process to add the second chart, click quotes and then charts. Next, we're going to add the montage. Click on trade and then montage. The montage gives you visibility to level one and level two information. And most importantly, it is where you will be executing your orders. Following window is the time and sales window. Click on quotes, then time and sales. This will reflect the trading activity for the ticker selected, showing price, share volume, and time for each trade. The next window is the main watch list. Click quotes, scroll down to market viewer, then click viewer six. In this window, you can add the tickers you have selected as your watch list for each day. Now let's add the market view window. Click on quotes, scroll down to the market viewer, then click market view. The market view window has some of the overall market indicators. You can add and remove based on what you would like to monitor. The next window is the top list. Click on quotes, then top list. The top list scans for stocks like NASDAQ most active and NASDAQ most gains, which could be some stocks with good opportunities to trade. Last window is our market clock. Click on tools, then market clock. Last step is to link the windows to the montage. Right click and hold the anchor symbol, then drag the cursor to the body of the window and release the hold. Link all the windows you want to this specific montage by repeating this step. Now that you have created your layout, it is time to save it for future use. Click File, then Save Desktop. Any layout you save as default in your Dash Trader Pro folder will be the layout that will load each time you open your Dash Trader Pro. Click Save, and then Yes to replace the file to make this your default layout. To open any other layouts that you have downloaded or saved under a different name, click File, Open Desktop, Locate the layout DSK file, click open to load the file. To change the overall color themes for Dash Trader Pro, click setup, then other configuration. Next to theme, select between default, dark, or blue. Select your preference and click OK. Every window is fully customizable by right clicking in the body of the window and selecting config. This will bring up the configuration window where you can select preferable font and colors. In this window, you can also choose what information you want the window to display by moving it from left column over to the right column or vice versa to remove. Select the columns and click the arrows accordingly to make the change. Once done, click commit to apply the changes. Once you are familiar with the names of each window, you can hide the title bar to gain additional screen space. Right click on the title bar to bring up the frame window configuration screen. Then check off no title bar. Click commit to apply the changes. You can do this step to all the windows for even more screen space on the entire desktop layout. To bring back the title bar, simply right click on the border of the window and uncheck no title bar. Make sure to save your layout anytime you make changes you want to keep. 
To check your network delay, double click the two connector symbols at the bottom right corner. This will bring up the network traffic status window. Scroll all the way to the right to check your network delay. Under 200 MS is the recommended delay for day trading. Anything above 200 MS can signify a slower than normal internet connection to NASDAQ servers. This completes part one of our Dash Trader Pro introduction. Check out other all right, guys, so that was the introduction of Dash Trader Pro. I'm going to open up the platform and uh, take any questions we might have. And also, we can go over uh, some other features that we were not talking about in this video. So here's the layout you have, right? We have this is the layout you're going to download from our website. So we have access to that. I also can provide you with the layout that we just built. I can give you access to that as well. So you can upload it if you're using uh, if you want that layout for your Dash Trader Pro. I'm just going to open it here, open your layout. And we're going to get this layout. Uh, here we go. So a very nice, clean layout. Uh, I think this is a good one to start. You can then do additional windows on your monitor, depending on how many monitors you are. You can start from this layout as a base and then expand it as uh, as you go forward. But I think it has all the information you need, all the information we're looking at on a, on a daily basis, uh, your watch list building here, your montage, time and sales, and all the windows we just discussed uh, right on here. Guys, this is a very powerful tool when it comes to Dash Trader Pro. And the reason for that is because um, it's a lot of things happening here, especially when it comes down to the simulation. When you're doing simulation, this is going to be uh, a place where everything looks exactly the same as when you're trading live. So when you're trading on your sim account, the same way the features are, the montage, the buttons, everything is exactly the same. The only thing that's going to change is your account number right on here. Right, so it's very important. Then everything is the same. And we tell people this is the way to go because there are other simulators out there that are not real time when it comes to uh, the real setup. So meaning you're going to practice in a in a platform that then is going to be different when you go live, and that's not the case with that with case with Dash Trader Pro. And this is why I recommend Dash Trader Pro to a lot of the of the members that uh that are going to start trading. Right, you're able to tra simulate uh, simulate in a in a platform that's going to be exactly the same when you go live. Right. Um, also, another feature that's, that we it just came on is the replay, right? And this feature, guys, is going to be one that's going to be really instrumental for anyone starting out that wants to get a practice in, anyone that's trading part-time that maybe uh, are, is trading two to three days a week and not the full five days. This can also help you quite a bit. We do have um, the replay feature, which is called uh, data, uh, data quote mode here. Where you can go down here, you can select replay. You can select apply. Right, you're going to switch over. It's going to confirm. Do you want to switch to the replay mode? You hit yes, and it's going to bring you over here where you can download whatever ticker you want. So let's say uh, it has to be anything from the day before. So let's do CCL. CCL has been fun uh, to watch. I'm going to go to uh, Friday's day. Oh, I think Thursday was even better, actually. So let's go to Thursday, and we're going to go download. It's going to download the data for Thursday. Now, already here, I have several tickers uh, that I have downloaded. If I go to load, it's going to keep everything I have downloaded is going to be here. So if I want to go back and practice several things, I can do that. I have AMD, I have Apple, Apple for a couple of days on here. I can always go back and take a, a take a look at those days. So we already have a CCO loaded. I'm going to go on here and uh, hit load. Oh, it hasn't loaded already. Okay, good. And I'm going to hit play. So now what's going to happen here, I'm going to put CCO. And I'm going to forward this to the market open. Just give me one sec. Market open is going to be, I'm going to bring in the uh, the five minute and the one minute. It's usually what I trade off. So I'm going to bring it over to the market open just to save some time. Uh, right over here around 930. So here you can actually, uh, and we're working, the Astrid Pro is working um, to get the level two. This is not out yet. It should be out in the next major update and upgrade that they do. So they're working on developing that information. This is going to be key when it comes to uh, studying the level two, to be able to go back and see what actually happened and get that screen time, right? Because to get this screen time, there's no way, there's no shortcut for sitting down and getting experience, right? So if you're if you're stuck to only watching things between 9:30 and you know and 10 10:30, 11 o'clock per se of the market hours, you know how are you going to build more on that experience? Now this allows you to do that during your 
off time during the market off hours, maybe in the weekend, you can spend an hour or two looking at level two, you know, or after hours when your schedule is more convenient. Right now, you don't have that option with anybody else, right? I've seen the level two out there. No other program is doing that. So that's going to be huge when it comes to your training of understanding level two. So here we have the action. Let's say you want to trade, I don't know, an opening range breakdown or break up. You know, you can actually go back and replay this strategy and actually take a trade on it, right? You can go in here in your montage. We're working on getting the hotkeys working uh, for this program as well. Right now, they're not fully all working, but we're working on getting the hotkey so you can be able to actually take trades the same way you would in simulation and therefore in a real uh, account. So you have your 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 possible entry here. You have your market order. You have your uh, account on here. We're going to go short. And there it is. You get filled on your order short, and you can see everything populates as if it was trading a real live account, right? So you can go back and look at uh, the way something traded. Maybe you took a trade, and now you want to go back and see, okay, how did this really look at that time now that I don't have no emotions involved, right? How, how exciting that, that's going to be. You can see what different type of view you get when you have emotions involved, if you're trading live, uh, and if you go back and just actually look at the price action at a slower pace without the emotions being there, you can see what you can improve on. So again, this is a tool, guys, that nobody else has it like this. I've seen other replays. Nobody else is as detailed. And the most important thing when it comes to this simulation uh uh, platform is that you want to see everything in the same vehicle that you're trading live with. Like this same feature in a platform that I'm not trading live loses a lot of value, right? You trading a simulation in a platform you're not going to trade live loses a lot of value. You have to trade in the same thing you're going to be trading when you go live. It's the same button, same montage, wherever they need to be. Information coming across in the same uh, windows, right? This is something you need to train your mind to look at. And as you're trading it, training it in simulation and in replay, it's going to make the transition to going live a lot easier, right? So here we have this uh, stock. We can speed it up as well. So let's go over to speed it up times five, times eight. You can speed up to see the action, you know. And obviously, I don't have my level set here, but you can set your levels as well to be able to uh, kind of see when the next level is going to be heading towards the bottom here. So again, a lot of information on here. This is a very powerful tool uh, that you guys should definitely uh, take advantage of. So say you want to cover 10 here you can do that by 10% market order then you slowly can see how everything populates in your windows when it comes to uh, to this replay all right and and it's fast too very very timely so the uh, tomorrow we can do whatever was replayed today right there's certain trades that Andrew has done already in the YouTube channel you can take a look at where he replaced uh, the actual uh, trade and pattern that was formed like this now is getting into a five minute. Is it going to be a good five minute opening range breakup, right? Here's your your opening range. Is it going to pull back? It looks like it might not pull back more than this. So you can trade things like this and kind of get a different view. It's going to be very helpful to your learning experience. Okay. Um, all right, let's go over here. Some of the things that some of the basic stuff that uh, people ask uh, in our in our classes. I'm just going to cancel this and go back to your regular mode. So we're going to go data stream and we're going to uh, switch back to normal. Hit apply. Hit OK, and now we're back in the actual live account or in your simulation account. So, oops, CCL. So to zoom into your charts, guys, uh, a thing you can do here, you can draw whole shift and you draw a rectangle, and that's going to zoom you into whatever part of the chart you want to zoom in. To zoom out, you can use the mouse to scroll out. You can also use the arrow keys down, it can zoom you out all the way out of the chart. If you want to go back and look at more history, sometimes when you zoom out, it's only going to give you up to a certain amount and it won't zoom out anymore. You can go all the way towards the edge of the of the window and then right click when the arrow comes on and you can see a lot more history. As you can see here, we're going back 2012, 2013. And then if you want to zoom into this area here to get a better view of what's going on there in the daily chart, you can hold shift and then draw that triangle and you bring you in uh, a little closer. We spoke about uh, this uh, thing here. Again, this one here, if, you, if you're changing a chart, some, if you're changing the montage and something is not moving, let's say you're typing in AMD, sometimes what happens here, if you type, let's say, SPY, notice how it's typing here. If you do not double click, it's not going to activate the montage, right? And I'll show you how to make sure that's activated. So if you click on here and you just start typing, it's going to type it in that area. When you hit enter, nothing else is going to change. Uh, so that's going to unlink this chart from this montage. That happens a lot, and people will say, well, it's not working. I'm putting uh, MU here, and only the, the top one is changing, the bottom one is not. Again, we talked about just relink it again, hit that anchor, and go over to your chart, and it's going to link back to that MU. So now when you change it here uh, on this one, it's going to, to react on all of them. Okay. Uh, the other thing you're going to have on here is also going to be the double-click action. So right-click. There's a lot of uh, configuration you can do here. But if you right click here, you want to make sure 
that uh, this is checked off. Uh, double click to trade, right? Very important. So that means that when you're in a chart, if you double click here, it's going to activate the montage and you'll be able to change the ticker there or take a trade, hit your hotkey. All right. Um, uh, so Alan has a great question. So is the simulator done with real time information, uh, but one doesn't actually buy or sell also done at real time? I'm not sure I understand the question. So the simulation is real time, meaning if you if the market was live right now, the data coming across here, will, you you cannot tell the difference between a, uh, a delay between a live account and a and a demo account. So this is real time information from the market. And that is what you're really paying for. Right. When you're paying that uh, that that uh, monthly on these this platform, you're paying for this live information and the level two that's coming in here. Right. That's what you're paying for when you're doing simulation. So um, when you have your uh, platform, you, you're going to see your live account, your demo account. The simulation is coming. The, the information is coming in very live real time. So you'll be able to take trades and do that in simulation as if you were trading live in the market. Now, for your second question, um, uh, real time uh, does. Yeah, you, yeah, correct. You're not actually really uh, buying and selling with a simulation. I think that's that's what you're asking there, Alan. But if not, s send me another question and we can uh, we can clarify. Okay. Um, so here you have again several windows, guys, to change between uh, several days. You have your one minute here. You have your your two minute. You have your five minute, fifteen thirty. So you can do that on here. You also have a very well. One of the things about uh, Dash Trader Pro is a very powerful tool when it comes to hockey's. And I'm not going to go into Kyle's advanced hockey. That's way too much for me. But I want to show you guys some of the hockey's that are available here uh, in this thing. So you do have your your F1 through F7. These are really set out for your charts, right? So you can zoom in on your five minute, uh, sixty, uh, five minute, uh, sixty minute. You know the daily, the weekly. You can do that. You can customize this as well. And then you're gonna have your entry key. So I'm gonna show you some very simple uh, entry uh, hockey. So you have your buy position, which is shift three. It'll have the route, the markets, you can do your position, your time in sales, and how many shares you're going to take. So we're not going to get into the details of the script. This is extremely customizable. We do have a hockey file that you can download and upload to get started with, but eventually you want to come in here and start customizing this to make it fit uh, your style. Uh, we also, to do, to do levels, what I do is I have a hockey for levels. So if you go over here, we have a, let me show you what this is. You can see every morning we're doing these, uh, these levels, I do have a hockey for that. Uh, let's go over here. I believe it's the, on top of the tab. Oops, that's the Finvis. Nope, that's not it. Uh, actually, I don't have it set up in my demo. I have it in my actual account. But you could set up a hockey level. So instead of going over here and going, you know, let's build a, uh, a vertical line, whatever the case may be, it's horizontal line, you can actually build a hockey for that. So you can do it a lot faster when you're building uh, your levels, opposed to doing it this way. This one can take. Uh, a, a very very uh, long time so you got your levels here like that you can set that to be a hockey and a lot of the stuff on here that you can do manually can all be set up for hockey so we have tons of videos in our education about hockeys and scripts stop loss how to use the montage here you're going to be able to go into uh set a stop order and there's different ways to set a limit in range order we're not going to go through the details but that information is available in our education center as well on how to sell the, how to set up these uh stop limit order how to set up a trailing order depending on your style again it's important to understand the complete features of the platform so you then can be able to enhance your trading and performance right you want the, you want the computer to do as much as possible for you and then you focus on the actual strategy and actual uh uh uh, moves that you're looking to do, right? You want your focus on identifying these patterns, you know, uh, where's your stop is going to be, uh, identifying good risk to reward management, and then taking these trades, letting the system do as much as possible for you when it comes to uh, entering hockeys or entering in the montage. A question that we get quite often uh, when we do this class is, you know, what is better? Is it entering it manually in the montage? Is it using hot buttons? Is it using hockeys? And the answer to that is, the best way is the be the way that's best for you personally. So in the simulation period, um, you know, come in and try all three. Try doing it in the montage. Try doing the hot buttons or try doing the hotkeys. Whatever you can do successfully over and over again in simulation, that's what you want to take over to live trading, right? So we're not going to tell you the hotkeys is the best way to do it or that um, 
the montage is the best way to do it. Whatever is best for you is what's going to uh, determine which one you can do consistently over and over again. Uh, another question we get asked a lot is about hard stops, right? A lot of people want to put in hard stop in the system, and the simulation with Dask is a great way to practice that. You want to try hard stop, and you want to try mental stops and see which ones you can do uh, effectively over and over again. There is no right and wrong uh, when it comes to uh, those two strategies. What I do tell traders is, though, the mental stops takes a lot because now you have to tell your mind to trigger you to hit that button and get out of, of a trade. When emotions are in play, sometimes that's not easy to do, right? So if you're finding yourself that you're you're supposed to stop out here on this trade you took long, thinking it was going to bounce off this moving average, and you're not stopping out, you find yourself always going back to your journal saying, yeah, skip my stop, yeah, skip my stop, yeah, skip my stop. Then you have to go to hard stop to prevent that weakness from happening over and over again, right? But there is no right and wrong. Um, I, I use hard, st I use um, mental stops. A lot of people use mental stops. Depending on your trading style, uh, they both can work very great. Just got to find your niche on which one works um, works best for you. All right. Uh, so D has a question. D, I saw your question earlier about uh, uh, Dash Trader on Mac. Yes, it does work on Mac. You can use several. Uh, platforms like uh, Parallels is a good one. I used that before when I had my Mac. When I first started trading, I was trading with a Mac because I didn't know Dash Your Pro did not work on Macs. But you lose a lot of uh, a lot of um, uh, speed when it comes to connection and and, and it being reliable. So you got to be careful with that. Also, if you're doing multiple monitors, you, it, you don't have that smooth uh, connection as you do with a Windows PC. So um, my recommendation is, guys, with uh, uh, Mac, this Dash Trader Pro. It's very light. It runs very well on a computer that doesn't have to be a gaming computer, right? The only reason why some of us have uh, these gaming computers, and me especially, is because I'm running uh, several monitors and doing presentations and doing recording. But you can run this on a computer that's very light resource, right? So, you know, take out some, some of the capital budget you have and go get yourself a nice... Uh, uh, desktop it can be very cheap doesn't have to be anything powerful that can run several monitors and you're good to go you're gonna really like the way the smoothness of, of it and also how um, you know ha having the right set of monitors maybe three three to four depending on your screen size again you can you don't need that many monitors you can start with two uh, a lot of questions oh how many monitors do you have well I had six at one point you know but you don't need that much I was running several things on different monitors you know you can definitely start with just two uh, even three so you don't need that much real estate space when it comes to uh, starting out all right your second question is here aside of using real capital are there any significant differences between sim and live account performance difference no no there is no no difference it's completely exactly the same what you will see though again and this will affect anyone if you're taking let's say a huge size right let's say you're trading a stock where the liquidity is not great right and you're taking you know uh, uh, I don't know, you're taking 10,000 shares and that might not be all available when you go live, when you hit that hockey, you might not have 10,000 shares to get filled, right? So you might get filled differently than you would in a, in a, in a live account because everybody else is trying to hit that, that bid or that ask. But that's a very slight difference. If you guys look at the pre-market show, if you like, look, guys look at the recaps, the trades that we do, we're trading stocks that have a lot of liquidity, and that's what that's important, right? So unless you're taking fifty thousand shares, you know, you're gonna get filled pretty close to what you are getting filled in simulation in a live account, almost identical, right? Unless you're taking a ridiculous amount of size. And as far as performance, for performances, I mean, I, I show, I have a video on YouTube, guys. Uh, showing the accuracy of uh, CMAG. When CMAG first came out, I put a live video to show you guys how timely it is. And it is pretty fast. The performance is amazing. So again, if you have not tried Dash Trader Pro out and uh, you're not sure yet about joining our community, don't hesitate to try the free trial. We go to our website. We have a free trial just for Dash, 14 days. You know, try this out. If you're already a trader and uh, you know, you, you're trading with a platform that might not be the best one for the, your style of trading, maybe let's say Think or Swim, which is a great platform. I have an account with them, but they're not the best for day trading. Let, let's be realistic. I know some people that day trade with it and they're doing fine and that's okay, but you gotta give this a, a shot and you gotta be, uh, you gotta be able to be with the best uh, platform uh, that's out there to be able to sustain you know, good performance and good uh, entry. Uh, Yes, oh, uh, Maria, absolutely. Das does work better on Windows than your Mac. I love Macs too, but I'm going to be real with you. Yes, Das does work better on Windows. It's a lot faster, you know, because when you're running it on Mac, you're running through a different software, so you're losing a lot of the connection. So uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot.
All right, guys, so that is what we have for you. Again, we have tons of videos in our education center when it comes to Dash Trader Pro. You can also reach out to me, Carlos at Bearable Traders, if you have any questions about the two presentations tonight, the part one of our community. If you have any questions about our community, please reach out to us. If you're, or if, if you're again, if you're thinking about joining, look at these two promotions that we're we putting out there. You should definitely be trying a seven day uh, free access if you do not have a membership right now. There's a few things you need to, you should do um, uh, today before you leave this webinar. One is sign up for the swing trading at uh, Bearable Trades. Let's go there right now. I want to show you guys where it is. You guys can follow me on your end as well. Um, just go over to uh, where we have swing trading right here. Go to trading, swing trading, and towards the bottom, um, you can uh, scroll down. You're going to see all the information. There's Brian. Brian is amazing, by the way. Uh, yeah, where's Brian? There's Brian. So kind of get a little background on Brian. Brian also has a book on Amazon, guys. So uh, pick that up. It should, it should, it's not on this page here. Probably not on this specific page, but he does a, has a book on Amazon. So pick that up. And here's are his results, guys. Go through this. You're going to see the numbers are incredible right the ones that are all are white are still open positions but you're gonna see some of the numbers i took this trade with him this bimi i took that trade with him uh and i mean i got in a little bit after i got in at 404 right but with swing trading you don't need to get get a specific uh price you can have an, a level but this worked out uh, amazing look at look at the profit here so again, almost 25%, right? I, I, I Unfortunately, I didn't hold as long as he did, but this worked out really, really nice. And you get this really timely alerts, right? So sign up here now. Um, again, free is completely free and there's no charge for this. Put your name, your email address, and you gotta see the email is very clean. It tells you exactly what he's looking at, the reason why he's getting in here, um, and then you can follow his trade ideas. But again, it's important, guys, pick up the book. Don't just follow him blindly understand what's also happening, right? It's very important as you become an independent trader. And the next thing you want to do is go to the forum. Go to the forum and sign up. If you're not already a member, uh, go to the forum and sign up so you can get access to all the data and information that's here that's built from the moderators and the members. And again, try out the seven day free trial, guys. You're going to get access to everything that we have here. Um, and the most important thing also the chat room, you know what you want to try the chat room, see what the environment is like. Uh, come in for seven days. You will know right away if this is for you or not, if this environment is for you. And I guarantee you, you will definitely like what you see and just the positive vibe from the members and how helpful everyone is. It made a difference in my trading, guys. I came from a different community, a great community, a great community, but it was not a fit for me, right? So I went looking out for something else. Those guys were amazing, doing great stuff over there, but it was not a fit for me. You need to find what's a fit for you and your style. So that's very important. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you guys uh, in the seven-day trial starting tomorrow. Um, we're going to do the pre-market show. Come join me at 8.30 and Norm. And then from there, we're going to do some live trading uh, with Andrew. Andrew's traveling, but he's able to get on for his, from his laptop like he did this morning. Uh, this morning was interesting. We had the uh, my first and many of us day traders first uh, exchange halt. So I'm not sure if you guys know about that, but that was exciting too. Um, never seen anything like that. I did not take a trade after that. I was so interested to see if, if the next halt was going to hit. <laughs> so I was looking for the numbers in the level on the spy, but we had a nice green day, so that didn't happen. Uh, but join us tomorrow for that. Um, also, what else we have tomorrow? We have the trade review with uh, with um, uh, with Eamon tomorrow as well. Wednesday we have our our webinar, and so um, join us for that. That's going to be uh, also actually tomorrow we have Dr. Katz as well. Again, I can't keep up, guys. It's a lot of stuff going on. You gotta sign up. Look at our calendar. And we'd love to see you guys there. Take care, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like what we presented tonight. And again, if you have any questions, anything that we might have not answered, uh, Carlos at BearboardTrades.com. I would love to get back to you. Also, team, um, I forget the other email address. I think it's team at BearboardTrades. That's going to go towards the team. If you have any technical questions or things like that, we would love to hear from you. Take care, guys.